What's going on guys? Danny with Lanier Lawn Care. Today we're going to take you to a property where there is a massive amount of leaves. We're going to put this bad boy, this Toro 60 boat blower to the test. So I uh, hope you enjoy. We're going to get right into it. Right, guys so this is going to be on the low setting uh, and then you have a turbo mode here this thing supposedly does 115 miles per hour 605 cfm with the turbo button pushed down so let's see what we got see what we can get some move here Now let's press this turbo button. Listen to it jump. This thing just jumps tremendously once you hit that button. So uh, let's see what it'll do now. Here we go. So if you do have a residential property, this thing on turbo mode is definitely going to take care of it seeing as though it's moving these pile of leaves and you can feel it when it kicks in yeah. that's pretty good blowing power for uh for a handheld Okay, I did honestly did not expect this battery powered blower to blow this amount of leaves. But uh, we are still, whew, we have used just about all of this battery in less than 10 minutes. So uh, let's keep going until it stops and see what we can get.
we're done. It is still fully on, as you can see. And uh, we have run the battery down to nothing with just this area. <coughs> but this is also a lot of leaves. So uh, let's go back to the house, get you some final thoughts on this, and let me know your comments down below what you think of this blower. Are you pretty impressed with what it can do using the turbo mode? All right, guys, so we are back at the house and uh, let's talk about this thing, all right? So we have the Toro 60 volt platform system. Now you can get this with a mower, a snow blower, uh, a chainsaw, a trimmer, a hedge trimmer. So there's quite a few different options for you on this battery platform. Now, one of the great things I like about this is you don't have to use the 2.5 amp hour battery. They do sell bigger batteries if you think you need that. It's very comfortable in the hands. Uh, when you put the battery in it, it makes it very well balanced. So your battery is gonna go here. As you've seen, it works phenomenal, even on a big pile of leaves. So as you slide your battery in, how you undo your battery is there's a button right here. You press that button and watch it pop out. And then you just pull it out, stick it on your charger and charge. So now runtime, I showed you the turbo mode runtime just to show you what this was pretty much capable of. Now with the turbo button on there, we got around, well, right at, or a little less than 10 minutes uh, total time that was with the turbo button on majority of the time. So uh, you're gonna get around eight to 10 minutes using this turbo mode button. So be careful on how much you need to do to use that button. Uh, now, if you're not using that button and you're just using the regular trigger, uh, variable speed trigger, because you can actually adjust this. So you've got your trigger here and then you can press this and you know, so you ain't gotta hold the trigger and just blow, blow, blow. Uh, on average, I seem to get around 20 to 23. Uh, that was depending on non-stop usage, uh, letting off of it. You know, how, if you're doing non-stop, you're probably going to get around 20 minutes of usage uh, to 22 minutes of usage with this thing non-stop with this full throttle. Now, once again, that is not using the turbo button. But uh, tube is easily pulled off. You just push this down and then the tube slides right off here. Very easy, very simple. This also you can get with a uh, gutter cleaning kit. So we're gonna show you that in another video, but your gutter cleaning kit, you can put on the edge end of this tube or you can slide it over this part right here as well for a smaller, you know, so you're not having your, your tubing from your gutter cleaning kit sticking way out. But uh, just very easy, very simple to put together. I mean, it's already slid together. But uh, let me know what your thoughts and opinions are of this down below. Now, once again, you can get all this, uh, these 60 volt platform items with a battery and a charger. And honestly, I think it wouldn't be a bad idea to do that strictly because of runtime, especially if you're getting you know, the two and a half amp hour 60 volt battery with the kit. Because you've seen on a blower how much it uh, ran down, how quick it ran down. Once again, with the turbo button, pretty much double, a little over double that without using that turbo button. And we don't really know what the CFM or the miles per hour is without using the turbo button. But using the turbo button, you're gonna get uh, around, they say 115 miles per hour, 605 CFM. And as you could see, once again, from the video, it does blow the leaves, no issues whatsoever. So if you're blowing grass off your driveway, things of that nature, you're probably not gonna be using the turbo button all that much. But uh, you know, blowing out your, your beds, flower beds, things of that, this thing's gonna come real in handy. But if you do have that leaf option during the you know, fall time, uh, like it is right now where you have a lot of leaves, this is gonna take care of it. But depending on how big your lawn is or how many leaves you have, may need an extra battery. So keep that in mind. So if you're buying you know, any of this 60 volt platform, I'd probably recommend getting the battery and the charger with each one. And I'm gonna tell you why right now. Uh, the tool only of this, you can get for $139. 
Now you can also, let's uh, show you here, you can also get the kit that comes with the 60 volt battery and the charger uh, for $179, $40 more. Uh, you might as well get the battery and the charger for each one because if you buy these separate, you're probably not gonna be able to get that for 40 bucks. So I would probably recommend just getting the kit for each and every item you plan on using. And that way, if you do need the extra batteries, you got them. If you don't, then it's really not that big of a deal, but you have them just in case. Warranty wise, Toro give you that three year, three year warranty regardless. But uh, so you got three year on battery, three year on tool and everything. So you, you get Toro's great warranty as well. So let me know down below what you think about this and uh, how you feel it performed doing that leaf test. Because honestly, for her battery power, I think it did real good. It did great. But uh, I kind of figured that it was going to run the battery down real quick. And it did, it did. So if you've got a lot of leaves, once again, you may be want wanting to buy the, the kit for a lot of this 60 volt system. Just that way you have extra batteries that you could be charging while you're using another one or, or have some on backup, things of that nature. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.